is the best hard surface tool made. Welcome back to the Sagers. We're gonna clean the garage floor. Help get some of the salt out of here and then these little spots here. Oh nice, they got they got a little. He's got a phone call. Yeah. Wouldn't be a Sagers video without a phone without call. a phone call. It's Mark. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, hey Mark. We're gonna get all this swept. Yep. All right, so we swept it up the best we could. As you can see it's still kind of dirty. -ish. We're gonna run some cold red on it. Should brighten it up in there. Aaron's putting our seal door up. Trying to, it's all Trying icy. To. It's beating him. He's losing the battle right now. And he won it. He won the battle. Yeah. So, here we go. Shall be interesting. I don't know that we've ever showed us cleaning a garage floor. Is that thing running? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll shut that off. We're not blowing stuff through it. As far as the cleaning product goes, this is just code red from two days ago over the weekend. So something like this, we don't need a whole lot. It's gonna clean up good. Shouldn't need fresh stuff, so. And he's gonna help me get my hose. We're gonna use the hard surface wand by Thomas Conway. The Devastator hard surface wand. Put some more high pressure in there for him. You ain't got one of those. You could use your tile spinner on this. And then to help bust all this stuff up right here, we're gonna use the CRB on it. To help bust some of this dried up salt and everything off of there. It's very slippery. We gave it a good sweep beforehand. You don't want all that dirt in your van, in your filter. Best to just sweep it up first. Scrub, shall we? Nice boss. He's gonna battle the door again. What do you want? What are you looking at? He's looking at himself. He's still recording. <laughs> Keeping it rolling. Huh? Just keeping it rolling. Yeah. We're gonna show them the CRB. Oh well, yeah. CR being the garage floor. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've done a garage floor since I started here either. I've done a couple. I don't know that I've done one with you though. I haven't been involved in one. Concrete. So we're, gonna see, 
I've done my own garage floor. Wow. Look at that. There it is. Easy peasy. Should clean, these floors should clean up really good. Oh yeah, that's just a, it's got an epoxy on it. You can probably get away without even scrubbing it, but with the salt and stuff that's stuck on it up there, you know, take it away, just scrub it out. I gotta clean this thing good anyways today. It's still so. winter time here, so. You wanna pop these two doors and get under them or what? Yeah, we can do that at the end. Should be all just hit it with the Wanda. He's all tangled up over there. Screw, screw, little tiny one. We'll get that out of there and they don't run it over. we've been trying to do this job for been, has it been three weeks? day number three we couldn't get up the hill we got stuck a couple times trying to get in here and we rescheduled and then it snowed the day we rescheduled it too so there was no way we we're getting up here we again got stuck on that driveway and then second it starts snowing again this morning and over but we made driveway. it up here second time we couldn't we just couldn't get in here and they did a very good job for us this time to get up here. And no struggle, no, no shoveling for us, no nothing this time around. Just drive right on up. We've only been stuck five times this year. Which is more than any other year. Which in reality, it's not a lot, but it's a lot. The reason for that is, is the way the weather's been. It gets cold, snows, gets warm, then the snow underneath, instead of having a good solid base, it's like kind of sugary, but you can't plow it off. So we just, the vans being so heavy, they just bust through the snow and then you're stuck. She's got some dirt in her yet. Here. 
detail around those a little bit. The garage door sensors. Going to knock those off. Get set up and start ripping. There we go. Strong like pull. Yeah, what do you think of that? I'm gonna say it. This is the best hard surface tool made. What are we at, 800? About 750-ish. 750 PSI. No overspray. It's nice. I would have worked our way in so our hoses don't get all dirty, but there's so much salt and dirt and junk outside that we'll just wash the hoses after this. be able to eat off of this floor afterwards. Did a little test there. Yeah, he's leaving footprints. I did that so I could walk over yeah. here. Yeah, you might as well just stay in the dirt. I suppose. Or, I grab, a, or grab a towel or a rag and dry your feet off on that clean stuff. Then you can stay oh, over. Now there. clean now. You're clean now. All right. I'll get your. I'll get your area of cleanliness. This garage door while I'm here and I'll get I'll get that edge where it's at there. Yeah you'll have to clean your foot again. Yeah, that's good.
They want to do that one right now too. Uh, let me get the, so the water's kind of running that way, so let me get the dirt in front of it done first so it doesn't just run back there. Thing gets so close to the edge, it's nice. I'm gonna dirty a spot again with my feet. I'm gonna do it right here. Yeah, go ahead and clean your feet off. Here. Clean them off. There you go. This thing is really nice for pile and grout and flooring and hard surfaces. Hard yeah. surfaces. Hence the hard surface wand. Might as well. Squeaky clean. Unreal. Unbelievable. 
hopefully this will be kind of a cool little video. Hopefully Mark does something with it. I don't know that we've ever done one on video on the garage floor. We haven't done much video with this tool either. You know, usually if it's anything like this, it's a tile and grout tool. Right, if it's tile and grout, we're using the spinner on it. So it is a more aggressive cleaner than, say, something like this. The spinning head helps out a ton on that type of stuff. But something like this, or something that's not too terribly dirty, this wand is the perfect, yeah, this wand's the ticket. I mean, it almost looks like this floor was just put in we today. Just, we just put this epoxy floor in. <laughs> stay on the clean side. We're gonna move this table over and this. We'll move it back and we're done so it just needs to be out of the way. Gonna see the gonna see the yard here shortly. See the yard right after we snow blow it. Yeah he's filming the table. Strong like bull mark. Nope, not strong like bull. We're gonna set it down for a second. Yeah, you can set it there. Yeah, there you go. That's all we needed. I can't that rust spot come out. I'm surprised. Let's see if that one does. Yep. Wasn't expecting those to come out. Not that easy anyway. I'm gonna get some of my hose out of the way. I don't need all this. This is also a swivel head like his other ones. Thomas L. Conway. That's all we got left in here. And we'll pop this door just like we did with those other two over there. Get right under it. You got a, you got a magic spot right there? No, no. I don't know what that is. A little yellow on there, we're not too sure what that is, but. In order to get something like that out, you would have to polish that spot out. You want this one too? What's that? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, go ahead. He's got it. Another screw. I'll probably have you just pick that back up and I'll get underneath it and you can set it right back down.
What a mess. What the? That's hot. That's it. Not quite yet. I gotta grab a rig and wipe around the little thingies. All right, so Aaron, he went to grab a rag. We're gonna wipe down. Just these little spots where the tool won't get, make it look a little better with the rag, like that. Like this one here. Pine needle. There we go. One more. One more out of here. Then it's time to wrap up. There we go. And that's it for wipe down. Looks a lot better than it did. <laughs> Told Aaron we're gonna go get lunch and then we're coming back. We're gonna sit right there. We're gonna eat it. Off the floor. You could eat it off the floor. Yeah. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that little video. A little, little different garage floor cleaning for you. So, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy. It's down here. Down there and there. Somewhere. Peace.